Hey, what's up guys? It's Marshy. And you know what? I could use a new video game to play. Let's see what they have. Ooh, GTA San Andreas. That seems cool. Oh, god dang it. The ESRB. What every little Timmy gets mad at because they can't play Detroit Become Human. So today, I figured I'd dive into the history of the ESRB. Picture this, it's the 90s, and video games are evolving. They're becoming better than ever. They're getting better graphics, and they're also getting better gore. Yeah, in the 90s, video games were always under fire by parents and the media, thinking that, oh my god, this is causing the violence in our children. Seriously? So even if it is an absurd claim to say that video games cause violence, People still got mad at them for those reasons. Specifically games like Mortal Kombat, Splatterhouse, NARC, and Night Trap. So then the ESRB stepped in to rate games to give parents an idea of what little Timmy should and shouldn't play. So yeah, video games were definitely under a lot of fire in the 90s from parents and the media, as I said before. So one day, there was literally a Congress meeting discussing the violence in video games. That's right, folks. The violence in video games was being discussed by the government. And I mean, what are you talking about? This isn't violent at all. Sub-Zero wins. Oh, that might be a little violent. And Sega, man, they were just getting thrown under the bus during this meeting, getting attacked left and right by the government, and even Nintendo. That's right, Nintendo was there discussing the violence in video games. And there is one line from Nintendo in particular that I will never forget. In the past year, some very violent and offensive games have reached the market. And of course, I'm speaking about Mortal Kombat and Night Trap. And let me say that for the record, I want to state that Night Trap will never appear on a Nintendo system. Yeah, that aged well. That's when the ESRB was created, the Entertainment Software Rating Board. But nobody likes saying the full thing, so we're just going to stick to the acronym. Currently, they have these ratings. EC for Early Childhood, E for Everyone, E10+, plus, which is pointless. It's just pointless. Why, why is a Kirby game rated E10+, plus? What, like, is this too intense for a nine-year-old? Really? There was T for Teen, and M for Mature, and finally AO for Adults Only. Yeah, EC and Adults Only are probably the rarest of the bunch. EC usually means games for little toddlers on Nintendo systems. And AO, you barely see that out in the wild. That's because the main consoles, Microsoft, Sony, and Nintendo, will not allow any AO games, and retailers will not accept AO games either. So if you're a game developer and you get an AO rating, congratulations! You're a failure. And some games just blur the line between the ratings. Like Splatoon 2 is E10+, plus. what the heck? And most Kirby games are E10+, plus too, like what? Oh, thank goodness for E10+, plus. can't have my nine-year-old playing Donkey Kong. Nowadays, the ESRB is kind of bleeding out, and eventually I bet it's gonna die. I mean, any little Timmy can walk into a door, buy some Play Sedation Network bucks or whatever, go home, and then finally, they can play Detroit Become Human. So yeah, that's basically the ESRB for you. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm off to find a new game. Whoa, that game is rated E. Oh, that's a misprint. <laughs>